Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have a pretty late story here for Tuesday. It's 3 p.m. Pacific time. But we have uh, Jason Tartik uh, doing a tell-all as his new book's coming out, which is always the best time to get some tea out there, talking about how Colton Underwood unfollowed him and Caitlin Bristow. Now, is this a big story? Well, we're piecing together some of the oddities that led to Colton's coming out. Uh, of course, you know, uh, his um, stalking and harassing of his then ex-girlfriend, Cassie Randolph, and how Jason says Colton was a better lead than he would have ever been because of how manipulative Colton Underwood actually can be. Let's get right into this. Do me a favor. Follow me on Instagram at dneals. I'll be posting my stand-up tour dates. Uh, if anyone wants to come watch some stand-up comedy, post that below. And also, if you want to join the Patreon for private membership-only content, go to patreon.com slash Neal. I'll be going live tomorrow, like I do most days, in the Work With Dave segment. Okay, let's check this out. Trading secrets. Let's just have a listen. I'll pause where I have to. I, I, I lightly listened to this, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe more people aren't talking about this. Fascinating. Uh, conversation that Jason has about his new book coming out, The Restart Roadmap. Book launch is coming out. When that happens, that's when you share your juiciest information. Not saying it's not true, just, you know, he saved he saved some goods for this book. Let's have a listen to this excerpt. Talk about Colton in one of the last chapters. And I personally can never pass up an opportunity to simply dissect every move that he makes. Uh, he's a fascinating and polarizing individual. And he as is. you mentioned in the book, he's basically a master negotiator and marketer. There's a line in there. Can I quote the, a line from the book? Is that Go for it. Yeah. He says, uh, when you talk about the negotiation process between you, Blake, and Colton for who to be the bachelor, it sounds like you and Blake had very similar, uh, you know, interviews. Nice guys, right answers, in it for the right reasons, want to find a wife, you know, the previous experience, blah, blah, blah. So that's Blake Horstman, Jason Tartik. And Colton Underwood were all finalists to become the next Bachelor. Colton goes in there and says, yeah, Jason and Blake, they're good guys. But do you want good guys or do you want a guy who will give you good TV ratings? Uh, just the type of polarizing figure that he is. Do you think you could have delivered better TV ratings than Colton's season if you were the Bachelor? No. Nope. Why? Because I'm not, I, I, I have a certain, I'm just not in the business of getting manipulated to create drama and the risk of mm -hmm. that, knowing my risk tolerance for shit like that is just too low. I love the corporate way he looks at this saying risk tolerance. He's basically saying, I'm not going to be a producer pawn because of the effect it'll have on my other aspects of my life. Whereas Colton will do whatever it takes. There's no way. And that's why I think that's, I mean, listen, there's many reasons why they didn't pick me. Uh, one of the big reasons, because I'm boring. I'm vanilla. They know I wouldn't have been manipulated. Would have been I wouldn't great. have done crazy shit. He was exactly right. Jason would have nailed it. Do you still talk to him? No. Don't talk to him. Uh, ironically enough, just found out he recently unfollowed Caitlin and I. Not sure why. Mm. Uh, we uh, returned That's the big in the internet streets. Yeah, I'm not sure why streets. he unfollowed us, but he did. Uh, interesting thing with Colton is like timeline wise. I mean, he's very, very calculated man. But he had asked me several times to to interview to be on one of the Netflix shows for him. And this was before his, the coming out Colton. He was going to have a show with Cassie. Then he was going to have a show by himself with his friends. So he was producing or trying to produce a show of his relationship with Cassie while they were still together. No one was picking it up. They didn't have the show sold, but he was trying to pitch that show. He was working every angle to get a Netflix show. And I, you know, commend yeah. him for, you know, he knows what he wants and he goes for it. I commend Boy, Jason's really polishing this up and being very political and nice here. He said, I commend him. He's doing whatever it takes to get out there, which is totally fine if it doesn't affect others. But, uh, you know, was, was Cassie even a willing participant here is the question. Because people will remember when Cassie and Colton broke up, a lot of people took Colton Underwood's side and was like, oh, she was trying to be, just be famous in some reality show. I think we can look back and realize that that wasn't the case. For that, just interesting. Like I was like, dude, whatever you need, man. And however it can help. And you need Caitlin. I'll get Caitlin to interview. Like whatever we could do to help you. And I do remember him making a comment about like if the show, I don't know if like I think if like for him and Cassie it didn't work out. Like they needed him and Cassie. It couldn't just be his show. And so I right. think he put a lot of equity in that. And I don't know much. And I don't. I didn't. Sh I didn't really 
I just knew that I was like doing him a favor. Sure, man, behind the scenes, do what you got to do. I'm here to interview. I interviewed. I, there's footage. I interviewed a hundred times. Uh, not a- so they did. They were shooting content, him and Cassie. They just didn't have a buyer. So I think they were probably just banking footage. Now, but this is an interesting theory that Jason's saying, because as we know, Colton Underwood allegedly, I guess there's no, it's never been admitted in court, although it was said that he admitted this to Cassidy, placed a tracking device under the trunk of her car. Her brother found it, duct taped. And let, let me just tell you guys something. You might think it's terrifying to find a tracking device on your car. Um, Sunday night, I was coming home from yoga, as you do, and my fiance received a pop-up notification on her phone, and it said, you have an AirTag following you. And an AirTag is a little tracking device that you can buy, but if it's not supposed to be attached to a different device, it'll alert the person who may be being stalked. And I'm not kidding, guys. I was hands and knees with a light on my head, a uh, headlamp on my head underneath my car looking for a tracking device because the world's wild out there. And we thought someone, and, and we still to this day couldn't find a tracking device. And our phones said a tracking device had followed us from yoga all the way to home. And that would have been my car. Now, they don't want to steal my car because I got a beater, but, you know, what do they want? Or was it just a glitch, you know? So when you when you start thinking in these terms of, like, I'm being followed, I'm being tracked, it it, it just takes away your humanity. It really does. And I'm not saying that as a... I'm not pretending to jockey myself as a victim here. I'm empathizing with Cassie and what she went through. And could she have gone through that tracking because he was trying to still salvage a relationship? This was when they were already broken up. Well, probably never know. We'll probably never have the answer here. But, you know, hey, if, if no one's going to tell us the answer, why not speculate? I interviewed for two or three things for Colton with Netflix. And then he came to Nashville in the summer, hung out with Caitlin and I, was a little distant. I think that's when his whole thing was happening. But he was still him. He was a little aloof with where he said he would be and when and why. By the way, if you watched, and if this timing lines up, if you watched the Netflix documentary coming out, Colton docuseries, he went to Nashville and had his first like coming out bachelor party there. So he could have already been sort of uh, out uh, in that community and he, he could have been filming. I don't know if it was the same visit. And then all this shit happened. And he was, I remember he FaceTimed Cassie a couple of times, which was interesting and like would put it up with Caitlin and I, like almost like he was showing he was with us. I don't know. I was dancing with the stars. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. So let's backtrack. The timing's not lining up here. So if he was still FaceTiming with Cassie, this is before the restraining order, which means it was way before he came out of the closet. Because as we know, Cassie, in, unless there's information I don't have, and I, I hate to, I hate to, this is not the, you know, sort of um, bragging point I want to have, but I think I'm the only one who's covered this so extensively. Cassie got a restraining order, temporary restraining order against Colton, and that was... Um, fall of 2021 or 2020. Jeez, at this point. But no, fall of 2020, excuse me. And that 30-day restraining order was extended and then officially the restraining order was dropped and they just agreed that they would have signing some sort of NDA and they wouldn't talk about things. And then he came out of the closet several months later. So at this point, he's still in the closet, um, still um, trying to make his friendship or relationship work with Cassie while also trying to pitch this reality show. And I'm good friends with his roommate at the time. So we were working out and I'm sending him videos like, dude, where are you? Why aren't you here? I didn't know the whole story of everything happening. Mm -hmm. And he said something like, I'll be, yeah, I'm going to be there soon. And then not another word. Just like, hey, you you in town? You going to work out? Nothing. Nowhere. I just didn't hear anything. Do you have any issues with him now? Uh, there's just so many open questions. I just don't, you know, I don't, I don't know any, I don't know anything that's happened. Ah, I didn't hear from him. We were, we were like so close and wow. then everything happened with what he had done to Cassie. And Stalked and harassed. I, I haven't talked to him. So then of course he, he's obviously came out, uh, has a show and his living his happy life. And I guess I, I haven't seen the show. I've heard through the show. He takes a lot of ownership with what happens with Cassie. I commend him for doing that. We all fuck up aggressively for Cassie. I feel so sad and sorry for what she went through. Yeah, it's a, it's um, uh, it's a not legal. You know, you can't place a tracking device in someone else's car. Uh, penalty up to three hundred sixty-five days in uh, California prison. 
but I'm also happy that Colton, it sounds like, has acknowledged that, moved on, and found happiness. It seems like he acknowledged it for the most part, but then again, he kind of hides behind an NDA, which he had Cassie sign. He's like, well, we agreed not to talk about it. Yeah, that's before you decided to monetize this whole part of your life. And as we know, he just got engaged to uh, his boyfriend, is now fiance, and they were trying to pitch that wedding, which has been common knowledge in the entertainment community. So clearly uh, monetizing is um, is something that he's been sort of busy doing. And look, you can be happy for someone for coming out and, and, and all that, but you know, we talk about the coll- collateral damage of others involved, and it really starts to paint a picture of sort of the... Um, I, you know, you hate to look at this, but like, how would how would you guys say it? A sort of a desperate, um, desperate attempt for approval in the entertainment world? I mean, uh, what else can you say? And that's where the cookie crumbles with the whole Colton situation. And I, I guess he, I thought he, I thought he followed us, but he must have recently unfollowed us. Maybe it was when we were out with Cassie and Cassie was on uh, the, the, you know, Caitlin's podcast. I don't know. We're still talking about him. Interesting. So, yeah, of course, Cassie was just on Caitlin Bristow's podcast, and Cassie opened up for kind of the first time about their relationship. Of course, we covered that. Very interesting stuff. You know, all the time I go, oh, this is so interesting. But, boy, we have um, we have uh, Jason saying Colton is a very calculated man. And uh, Colton says, do you want good guys or a guy that will give good TV ratings? Why can't we have both? <laughs> Why can't we have both? Let me know what you guys think. Fascinating story to wrap up today. Join me on the new YouTube channel, Dave Neal Stand Up Clips. I'll post a link below. And private membership content at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.